Hi everyone, I want to introduce you to a lovely woman today, Amy, who is, um, who's been working with me for the last two or three months, I suppose, as a coaching client. And I, I know you've heard from lots of um, people who've been doing this diet for a long time, but I wanted to introduce you to someone who's maybe a little bit more like you, newer to raw foods. She hasn't been doing the diet and lifestyle for that long, um, but I wanted to, her to get on here and share her experiences of what it's like um, starting this diet and lifestyle, what her experiences have been and what it's like having a coach. So, hi, Amy. Welcome. Hi there. Hi, everybody. Hi, Anthea. <laughs> you know, we've been working together since January 2nd. Oh, wow. That's, mm -hmm. that's nearly... Even up before here. that. We maybe, had a, maybe a few weeks before that. Okay. Yeah. So, we've had uh, a month or so off now, but... Um, yeah. yeah. So, Amy also is a mother of three beautiful girls. She's got two teenagers and one who's a primary school age, you know, smaller girl. And she's also a Nia Technique instructor. So I'm going to let her explain what that is. Okay. So Nia Technique is, um, it's a fitness movement technique that promotes conditioning and healing in the body, encourages um, all of us to learn the body's way and our body's best way of moving. And it's a beautiful blend of dance and martial arts and what we call the healing arts, which would include things like yoga. Um, it's super, super fun and wonderful for exercise and release. So I can't I so, say that. I so want to yeah. try it. I live in the, just, you know, the sticks. So we don't have anything like that here yet, but hopefully i know it's in australia though i'll find out where for you okay that would be good. there i'm sure there'd be a class in sydney for sure so amy tell us a bit about maybe about what your goals were before you started raw foods and then also before you started working with me and okay. you know just a bit about what you tried before and um what your experience of the diet's been um yeah so things like that Okay, so my goal was clear. I wanted to get uh, renegade eating on track and pull it back in. I was binging. Um, I wanted to clearly lose about, about 20, 25 pounds. Um, that was really dragging me down, dragging my energy down. I had read about raw food dieting. I had looked at it, played with it, and it always seemed incredibly complicated. So I had done various other diets. There's one here right now that's um, extremely popular. It's called The Plan. Um, it's not raw food. Um, it's, you can be very successful on it. I needed a diet and a way of eating in life that I could keep consistent and um, enjoy and and um, feel good about myself and I needed simplicity um, I had never even though I have a, like a, a certificate in nutrition coaching I had never worked with a any kind of nutrition coach at all and I thought well I, I should practice what I preach so I decided that um, I, I should get I should get a coach because this is not working on my own well, oh, you seem to have frozen on my screen, so I'm hoping that it's still filming at your end. Um, okay, so what? So what? Um, so you had your goals of some weight loss and some energy, and um, and so what? Yeah. So how's it been going for you? This change to a new way of eating, and what? What's your experience been? Well. It, it the way that you positioned it for me and the options of eating made it much more simple. Um, I couldn't even begin to think about using a dehydrator. Um, it completely confused me. Um, so being able to create a diet and we created a mostly raw diet with an option for some cooked food in the evening and you helped me create that. Um, so I have lost 10 pounds, which is a wonderful, wonderful amount of weight. Wow. I feel much better. Wow. Um, 
and I, I, I feel better. I look better. I teach in a mirror people. So, you know, it's nice to be able to see the change and the shift. Um, and I, um, for the most part, I, I would say that in the last month since I haven't been with you as much, um, and that's why I asked to return. Um, I, I would say that it's been a little more difficult to stick to it, but in general, I'm eating hemp with um, cucumbers and fruit in the morning and um, nice, healthy lunch. So I feel really good. Fantastic. I don't know why you're frozen again, but anyway, we'll hopefully this will be fine in the video. Um, beautiful. So, well, I think that's kind of it. I, is there anything else you want to share? <laughs> it's probably everything people need to know. Well, you know, I think um, there were two things that I felt that working with you in particular was um, really worked for me. Mm -hmm. One is that you were flexible to where I needed to be at this moment in time. And as much as I love the concept of eating fully raw, you helped me create something that was as close to it as I could get at this moment in time with mm -hmm. three kids at home and helped start that transition for me. And um, the other piece was you gave me other tools like the whoop and you gave me recipes and um, there were just a lot of things that I could work with on my own um, and walk away with that were simple and easy and doable. And so I lost weight. It's great. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And that is yeah. so much about what it's about. I mean, just going fully raw is not for everyone. I mean, that's kind of like the goal. I know that I find while I eat that way, I feel my absolute very best. So I'm always mm -hmm. shooting towards that and, you know, eating mostly raw most of the time. But, you know, we've got to be realistic. And if it's going to be, it's going to mean that you're more successful being consistent by eating um, very, very high raw and moving towards all raw, then that's, that's got to be, you know, the number one goal. So, yeah, I don't know why you've frozen again. This is very frustrating. Anyway, um, so I'm going to say thanks, Amy. I'm going to stop the sure. recording now and, um, yeah. and then we can just chat.